Hello everyone. Welcome to the Conrad Tutorials class. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform image filtering in Conrad and ImageJ. Before we can use filter tools in Conrad, we need to open the image using ImageJ. and wrap the image to a grid 2D object. We also define some grid 2D objects for storing the filtered images. We start with linear filters. As we know, for a linear filter, the output is a linear function of the input. One widely used linear filter is the mean filter, which is already implemented in Conrad. In order to perform mean filtering, we first need to create an instance of the class mean filtering tool. Then we configure the kernel function by calling the member function configure, which has two parameters specifying its width and height. This function will automatically generate the weights of the kernel matrix. After the preparation is done, we can now start the filtering process using the function apply tool to image. the input parameter of which is just a copy of the original grid 2D image. At last, we can compare the filtered image with the original one. As we can see, the resulting image was blurred. Sometimes, mean filters do not perform well in case of, for example, salt and pepper noise. In this case, some nonlinear filter, such as medium filter, can achieve decent results due to its edge preserving. To use a medium filter in Conrad is very similar to that of a mean filter. We first need to create a medium filtering tool instance. Then configure the kernel width and height.
and finally call the function apply tool to image to trigger the filtering process. We can display the mean and median filtered images to compare the results. We can also execute ImageJ commands to filter an image. For example, we do that by running the command Gaussian Blur, which has a parameter sigma that specifies the standard division. We can see that the original image has been smoothed. You can set different values to sigma to see how the image will be influenced. In Conrad, there is a class called Convolver, which can be used to perform convolution between a kernel and an image. We first set the kernel width and height. Then we define a float array for storing the kernel. Now we can specify our own weights of the kernel. Since the convolver needs a flow processor as its input parameter, we need to wrap the gratuity image to a flow processor instance. Then we create a Convolver instance by calling its constructor. The convolution is triggered if we call the function Convolve. which has four input parameters, that is, the flow processor, the kernel function, the kernel width, and the kernel height, respectively. After the convolution is done, we can wrap the flow processor instance back to a gratuity instance for displaying. 
This can be done by using the static function wrap flow processor in the class image uter. Finally, we can show the images 